Hello, you guys. <laughs> Happy uh, November 2nd. And um, we survived Halloween. Oh my gosh, I thought it would never come to an end. You know, I'm trying to do this keto and it ain't easy when there's Reese's hanging out everywhere, you know. But um, yeah, getting back on track, fasting tomorrow. Did my 16-8 fast today. Um, you guys, I went to Ross today. Let me tell you, I'm so used to wearing 3X and... Cause I'm a big girl. <laughs> Since June, I haven't been shopping lately. Since June, I lost about 22 pounds, and I didn't realize that I can't fit a three X is huge on me now. It's like baggy. So just like when I lost uh, 75 pounds in the past, ooh, a little net. Just like when I lost 70, uh, 70, 75 pounds in the past, um, I was so mentally used to going to the bigger size. And I went shopping with my friends and they were just laughing at me like I could, I, back when I lost 75, I was into, I went from a 22 to a like size 14. And I would go to the big girl stuff and I would be looking in the 22s and then it took me to put it on and it literally fell off, you know, without me having to zip it up, button it, anything, it just like literally fell off. And I kind of felt sad because I had to relearn how to shop again. Like I'm so used to going certain to certain stores and certain sections of the store that I had to re figure out. Okay, where am I going to shop now? Like, you know, when I go to different sections, where do I look? You know, it, it was just it was crazy. I mean, it was a good crazy, but so today, yeah, I went to Ross, tried on a bunch of stuff that was three X. Everything fell off, so I had to go back and get two X's and couple of all the a dress there was a dress and I like how it fit big so I did get the, it was a sweater dress and it was a gray one so I ended up getting that but everything else I had to go back and get everything find everything in a 2x and try that on and then it fit so that's good news <laughs> but yes I'm glad to be past hollow Halloween and all the candy here and there and everywhere and now if I could just get past Christmas then I can go full force <laughs> in New Year's and get th this act together, you know. So um, anyway, I did a huge Dollar, Dollar Tree haul. Now is the time to get things. I don't need it immediately, but now is the time to get things um, from Dollar Tree because they go so quick. Like people are picking over everything. I like one of the Dollar Trees I like. Um, they don't put any of the fall stuff out until after Halloween, and they put a lot of Halloween stuff out. So I, I mean, um, a lot of Thanksgiving things. They don't put Thanksgiving things out and fall things out until after um, Halloween. And so this particular Dollar Tree did put out things that I didn't see, and I don't even think I seen a video on you know some of these things. So anyway, I'm gonna get to that. Um, but first. Um, I just have to, I went to do two different Dollar Trees, so I'm going to start with a few things, and I'm going to try to hurry, because I'm hungry, and I went to El Pollo Loco and got me some chicken, so yeah. Um, anyway, so first thing I got, um, I kind of used up a friend's <laughs> stuff at a, you know, having like a little uh, party at work, and I kind of used up, um, well, I borrowed their forks and spoons or whatever, so... I bought her a pack of forks and spoons and a tablecloth to let me have. So, um, you know, if you need tablecloths for work, for quick parties or whatever, Dollar Tree's a place to go to, you know, so I'm going to stock up on a few more things um, for to pay back for what I borrowed. <laughs> and I got a little skirt. This is so cute. So Zoe, she's uh, into these little tutus and I found this cute little tutu skirt for her for the holidays and I'm gonna get her like a cute little headband to match but it's for it's like a to toddler three and up so she's about to be three on November 30th so this would fit her if it don't I can kind of you know just maybe pin it or whatever but she loves to dress up and wear things like this now so I got that for her one dollar it's really good quality like it's layers you know it's thick you know I love this and it's heavy so this is pretty good for a dollar. And let's see, next, saw somebody haul this, so of course I had to get that. I like, there's some of the things that I'm wrapping um, this year is going to be in, um, you know when you uh, wrap things up to ship it in this brown, it's like a paper bag uh, paper? Well, they have rolls of that at Dollar Tree, and I bought some of it last year, and I wanted to stamp, get the paints and stamp like, 
Christmas trees or whatever and kind of decorate that just to have that like recycled look. Hold on one second. This is the only way I feel like I can change the color. I don't know. I hate when my camera does this blue thing like now. I feel like I'm blue. But anyway, so um, yeah, so I grabbed some of these. I thought these were really cute. And they're like, um, it says Joy. There's a reindeer. There's these, um, I, I can't remember what you call that. And then stripes. So these are tags for gifts. And I saw these toddler socks. And this is for ages two to four. But they have the little um, things on the bottom where they, they don't slide you know, from the slock, the socks, 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 and that's cute because, um, I can't remember what print that is, what is this print, you guys, not cow print, this is like a cheetah, not a cheetah, some kind of animal print, but anyway, I got Zoe this, and then they also had this kind of like a zebra print, I don't know, you guys, whatever print this is, I got it, <laughs> so I got her those two, and of course, you guys know by now, I like to make my pumpkin breads, um, I had a really good recipe for the Starbucks um, pumpkin bread, and I got it offline. I can't find it. I mean, I remember the ingredients. I just don't remember how much. But um, And I thought I wrote it out on a little card. Sometimes I go get those little thank you cards from Dollar Tree, and I'll write little recipes on the back of them because they're so pretty, and then I'll keep those together. I don't know what I did with them. So... Um, Anyway, I got to find it. I, I made some pumpkin spice bread for work, which turned out pretty good, and I wrote that out. And so um, I have everything I just needed to stock up on the canned um, pumpkin. I like to use the canned pumpkin better um, because, uh, you know, usually I'll buy a pumpkin and then roast it in the oven and then puree it. and all. I don't feel like going through it. I ain't got time for that. So went to Dollar Tree, and I got three of these. <clears throat> and... You know, of course, it's like pure pumpkin. I tried to get pumpkin without all these additive stuff in it. So, yeah, there's four grams of sugar. You know, they probably added um, stuff to it. But anyway, I got three of those. So this just makes it quicker for me to be able to bake. Because I don't have time to do all that other stuff that I usually do when I make fresh pumpkin. Also, during the holidays, I like to... I mean, the holidays, during the winter and fall, I like to make chili. The other day I made chili and I had no chili seasoning. It's just, to me, it makes it like the icing on the cake is to have my little chili season. And so um, I like to make black bean chili and sometimes put ground turkey in it. So I bought these for that. And let's see. So again, Zoe's birthday is coming up. And... Um, she loves, 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 loves Shimmer and Shine. They don't sell, the, now the thing about Shimmer and Shine is Shimmer and Shine was out like last year and the year before. So a lot of the stores don't carry Shimmer and Shine like toys anymore. So at Dollar Tree, I found this. It's like a little activity book. Might be a little bit too old for her. It's coloring activity book. Right now, Zoe don't do number scribble all over everything. So, um, I mean, that's cool. That's whatever she wants to do, you know. So I bought her this. It's a little activity and coloring book for her. And she'll love that. As soon as she sees Shimmer and Shine, uh, Shimmer, Shim, Shimmer and Shine, <laughs> she's going to go nuts because she loves Shimmer and Shine. And um, I'll let her watch YouTube sometimes. And she wants to see, you know, the little Shimmer and Shine um, toys. Like, you know how they do... Um, you know how they review toys on YouTube, the, the Shimmer and Shine ones she always watch. And she likes the Princesses of Disney, so I got her this activity book as well. So I'm going to wrap this up, and I want to also buy her a book. I always try to get her a book for her birthday or something learning for her birthday, a puzzle, something that has to do with learning. So I'm going to put these all together for her birthday, and I also got her a baby alive. Today I was talking to her, she goes, I want your baby alive, I want a kitchen, I want a bottle. <laughs> She's about to turn three. And so, um, yeah, I went and bought her a baby alive. So I had to go around and tell everybody, don't get her a baby alive. And I'm glad I said that because her mom saw a baby alive. And Zoe really, really wanted it. And her mom took a picture. She told me, oh, my God, I was going to get her a baby alive. I said, well, don't get it. I got it last week. So she likes that. And then I'm going to go to Ikea and get the little toddler kitchen set that they have. 
So cute. So we're going to get that for her, and that's going to be for her birthday. And then also at Dollar Tree, I found every year I try to get these things. Um, you know, I just keep track at work my time, my vacation, um, you know, just different information that I need to jot down to um, keep because we do our own timesheets at work. Like we have to submit it on, on the computer and submit it, you know, um, every week. I mean, every two weeks. And so I always have to, you know, if I call in or if it's a holiday or if it's a vacation or whatever, I have two weeks of vacation coming up. So we have to keep track of our own time. So I like to keep these at my desk and just keep track of everything on here. I don't call in often, honey. I got 800, almost 900 hours of sick time. So I'm not one to call in a lot. Although I do, I mean, it, I think seven years went by and I didn't call in. And so that's how I kind of accumulate a lot of time. Plus, I don't call in a lot. So I would think maybe in a year I call in maybe five times for the whole year. I just, I don't like to miss work. <laughs> so, and I don't get sick often. So, yeah. So I have a lot of sick time. <laughs> and so, yeah, I love this. They had different prints. They had pink with polka dots. They had, um gold and pink with the arrows on it they had a rose that was like a rainbow they had different ones but i thought the butterflies were really pretty so i got that and i have one of these on my desk but it's a different color purple and this lavender is more like the purple that i like on my desk that i like i love purple anyway but this is more of a purple that i like the one on my desk is more of a purplish pink so I got this, and another uh, coworker of mine, she liked the trash can that uh, was on my desk, and I might, and she likes purple too. So I might end up giving it to her and then replace it with a lighter, um, you know, prettier lavender uh, color purple. I just, I don't know why, I just like the lavender. For some reason, I'm into more of the lavender. I love purple since I was in junior high when I fell in love with prints. So <laughs> I've always been a purple person. Okay, so on to some of the Christmas stuff. Well, let me go to thanks or Thanksgiving. You guys, I didn't see these at all. And I went in the store and saw these. I was like, oh my gosh. So yeah, it looks like they're putting a lot of the fall stuff out now. Isn't that neat? It's metal. But the design on here is uh, like a sticker. So I, in, in the car, I was even pushing it down to get the little bubbles out. So these are cute. So you have to be careful when you put them outside because it is, you know, especially in the rain, because it is a sticker that's on there. And so it'll be nice if you have a porch, you know, like a plant on your porch or whatever, you can stick these in the plant if you have like a shelter over your porch. That way it'll probably keep it a little bit more safe and, you know, unlikely to fade or get wet and ruin it. So I got the truck and then they had the bike. Isn't that cute? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And these are, another thing, these are kind of like a flim, real flimsy metal. I don't know. Me, I might end up using this as a different, um, not necessarily a DIY because I like the way it looks. I might take these stems off of here and then uh, somehow, um, you know, just kind of maybe put a hook on the back and hang it on the wall, something. I don't know. But I just thought these are, or I might just, you know what, I might give this one to my brother and stick this on a pot on the porch because it's sheltered on the porch and then this will be a nice little something to put on um, my mom's porch my brother lives with my mom and then I'll keep this one I like the bike I like both of them really so yeah so I bought that and bought this for a DIY I'm sorry you guys I'm kind of going Christmas and Thanksgiving I'm mixing it all together but um, yeah, I bought another tree. I think I have one in my storage closet, but I have a DIY that I want to do with this. And so I bought this and I mean, you guys know this is, they've had these for years. I can't remember how many feet this is. Um, it's, it's only like a couple of feet, but you know, it's just a cheapy tree. It doesn't say how big it is. And, oh, you guys, let me do a thumbnail. I don't know if this is going to work. I've been having to go and take a picture and submit it on there, but yeah, thumbnail. Okay. Hopefully that works out. Like I do the thumbnails and they don't come out. Okay. Next thing I got was fall leaves. Um, I have some in my storage closet, but of course I always buy more. The more the merrier. <laughs> 
So, yeah, I'm going to be doing kind of like I did the Halloween collaboration. I decided I'm going to do that little table up for Thanksgiving. If you guys saw my video, go check out my video I did for the Halloween bar cart collaboration. Um, I think I'm going to do the table the same way um, with fall and then, of course, with Christmas. So I'm going to move things around because I got to put my tree over in that area. So I bought more of the fall leaves. And then I like to also decorate a big, huge bookcase that I have. Um, I always put garland. I always put fall stuff. You know, I always decorate that for fall and Christmas. So I got three different kind. One is just like a darker with dark orange, just more of a mixture of the yellow, orange, and um, red or kind of like burgundy-ish leaves. This one has also these, um, I don't know, kind of like a mesh leaf that's added to them. So it's multicolored, but then it also has these little meshy leaves on them as well. And like that. And they're slightly kind of, um, not glittered, but you're, um, what do you call it? Metallic. And then these are all mostly yellow and a few orange. So I got that and mixed those all together. And, oh, I want to show you guys this. You guys, I w was in, oh, did I buy two of these? Yeah. Oh, no, I didn't. I'm sorry. Okay. So, you guys, I saw this and I was like, now, I hate working, okay, with this stuff. Okay. This stuff is that mesh stuff people make wreaths out of. and But when I saw this, you guys... Dollar Tree had these. I love it. I said, okay, Sandra, you're just going to have to work with this stuff <laughs> because I want to use that on this. And I got the one that's orange with a little metallic um, in it. They also have the orange, and it's like three layers of orange and brown and red. And I didn't want that. I want all orange with the gold in it. And I, I, I bought two of these, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to need more than two. So I'm going to have to go back. Plus, I want to get green for this little top part. But yeah, you guys, look at this. Look how big. Okay, I already have a, I have a big head. So this just tells you how big, you know, it is. But um, yeah, this is pretty big. You can fit two heads in there. See, <laughs> this is my big old head. That's a nice size. You guys, I love this. And you could do so many DIYs with this. Like, you could put material over this. You could use the mesh stuff over this. You know, you can paper mache over this. There's a lot of ideas that you can use with this. I could have even used this for Halloween, but I didn't see it. You can get two, put two together to make it more dimensional. You know, you could do a lot with this, you guys. So, yeah, don't sleep on this. Get out there and get one. So I like that. And like I said, I bought two of these. All right, that's the other one. Yeah, I don't know why. It seems like there's more on this than this. Look at that. Oh, for sure, huh? I don't know. Anyway, so I got that. And I also um, went to Home Depot. And um, not today, like a while ago. And Home Depot, they always have a section where they have like free wood or discounted wood. And I found some tall like slabs of wood that I want to paint and put joy or um, holiday or something. I went on Pinterest and I'd seen a lot of those little signs. And then I want to use this um, this uh, decorative rope like to put like maybe a little handle on top or whatever so maybe I can hang it on the porch. I want to make sure I weatherize it, go over it with like a gloss or whatever so it'll be um, good enough to put outside or just let it go outside. Some of that stuff looks good when it's um, weatherized and, you know, kind of textured or whatever to look old. But anyway, I bought this um, string so I can use to put on the top of it, you know, so that you can either hang it or you could just kind of sit it on the porch. Um, but I got that. And I bought two of these. I've been looking for green. I've been looking for this mesh green, like the orange one. This one they don't give you as much. But the reason why I got this is because my brother loves the Grinch. And I saw something online, a DIY I wanted to do, where they used this stuff um, to make a wreath. Like they took the foam wreath. And then they kind of tied it around, and then they put the Grinch's picture in the middle. I'll have to show you. There's so many DIYs I want to show you guys. I just, I 
can't figure out how to fill it. I might have to just do it right here in front of you guys, um, even though it would be kind of hard to see. But um, I, I, I got to start showing you guys my DIYs because I have so many ideas. <laughs> and we're almost to the end, you guys. Also, I bought this paper bag. I went in there, started to put more um, gift bags out, and I thought this was really cute. So I'm going to put my brother's gift in here. Um, it's a little car, and it's like, um, you know, it's two-dimensional, or, uh, um, you know, two-dimensional, three to di two-dimensional, whatever. It's, the car is like that. <laughs> on the back, it's just drawn on the, the bag itself, but in the front, a lot of people, what they do, um, I've seen DIYs where they cut this out and frame it and put it in a frame and use that as decoration. Me, I'm going to use it for what it is intended for, and that's to put my brother's gift in it. And another thing I bought for DIY, these are the car rags, but I don't know if you guys noticed, these are really fluffy. And I like to do DIYs, and sometimes when I make my Santa Clauses, uh, this will be part of his hat. Um, or you can use it to make a snowman or, you know, like layer it over, you know, something round if you're making a snowman or whatever. But yeah, I got this um, not for a car, but I did get this for to use for a DIY. Um, and let's see, what else did I get? Two more things. Um, yes, you guys, I broke down. I saw these at the countertop. When I got to the register, this whole thing is 13 carbs. It is called a lump of gold cookies, dense chocolate fudge cookies. I know I ain't supposed to have it, but what I do is I allow myself 30, 30 carbs a day. And typically my entire day is no carbs. The only carbs I get is from my coffee, the milk that I put in my coffee. So I don't consume a lot of carbs a day. And so, um, you know, I might, I won't eat the whole box, but I'll have a few of these. Sometimes, um, you know, I would um, in the morning have, or not in the morning, afternoon, because I don't eat until 12 and I don't eat after 8 o'clock. So at noon, I'll have some coffee and maybe something like that if I'm on the go, which I'm not going to do it tonight because I am fasting tomorrow. My fast starts at 8 o'clock tonight, and I don't eat until 8 o'clock tomorrow after, um, after 8 o'clock on Sunday. And I try to do that every week. And um, during the regular week, I do a 16-8 fasting along with low carb. And it's been working for me. You know, to each his own, it's coming off slower because I am a diabetic, but um, it's coming off. <laughs> you know what I mean? So um, I just need to start moving. Like when I had surgery on my hand, I, st I had a surgery on my thumb because I had trigger finger. And this finger was, this. Well, I don't even remember what finger it was. This finger was stuck. And so I had surgery. There's a scar there. This one, I can't even find the scar anymore. So when I had surgery, I had to call Crunch Fitness and have them put my um, membership on hold or stop it, you know, because I don't want to be paying 20 bucks a month and I ain't going, you know, but I'm fine now. There's no reason. <laughs> this was back in, my surgery was back in um, I have February and then again in March or March and April. And so um, it is October, November. My hand's fine, honey. I don't even know where the scars are. I don't feel nothing, you know. So there's no reason for Sandra to go back to crunch. So anyway, anyway, I said too much. Wasn't even uh, talking about that right now. So my last item that I got was one of these. I bought a red one before, the Santa Claus one, and now I had to go back and get the elf one. The, the elf one, I call it the elf. This is canvas, and it's uh, green, and then it just written Merry Christmas on there. You know, this is velvet. I like the textures of this. This seems like it was a really good deal. It's velvet. They have a buckle on there. They have real buttons on there. They have metal on there. This is, you know, like, again, this is um, not canvas. What do you call that? Um burlap material whatever so i thought this was really good i like how dollar tree has nice thick sturdy good quality <laughs> um ornaments because i know they're gonna last me for a long time but um you guys that's it you know i went to ross today but i need to again i need to figure and i can need to stop talking about it. i need to figure out how i can show you guys uh, the things that I got, you know, I'm trying to work on getting rid of a lot of craft things. I don't have a lot, lot, but I just need to, 
I don't have a lot of room here. I'm in a two bedroom apartment, so I need to figure out how to make room and to have enough room to be able to stand and put my camera so you could see what it looks like, or even for me to stand and lift it up. Like I need to, you know, um, make room for that. And, um, anyway, show you all the good things I have. Cause I still have a wish haul that I want to show you guys. Um, and then I still, I bought some clothes today at Ross, man. Today, now is the time for you to get out to Ross and get your clothes for the fall and winter because right now there are beautiful sweaters, beautiful dresses, <clears throat> prints, everything is just so many things. Like I couldn't afford to get everything I wanted. So I had to kind of, you know, when you get to the line, you're like, okay, let me think. Okay, I have this budget. Let me think. I have to, you guys, I'm sorry, I'm talking too fast. I have to figure out what I can get and what I need to come back and get next time because I have a certain limit. My limit was 50 bucks. So it did come up to 55, but that was fine because I got some really nice things. So anyway, um, yeah, get out there to Ross, check it out. Um, Joan Brody, she was talking about how she went to Dee Dee's and got some things. I think tomorrow I'm going to go to Dee Dee's and check out what they have. And I'll probably go back to a different Ross and see what else I can find. Um, yeah, but anyway, thank you, you guys, for joining me. I'm sorry my screen is blue. I don't know why this camera on this computer does this blue thing. Like, I don't know what it is, but, um, yeah. Anyway, thank you for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment. And I hope you guys have a beautiful weekend, and talk to you later. Bye.